Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's reading, we're doing How Are You Confusing Everybody Right Now? And we have here pile number one with the perfume, pile number two with the Play-Doh, and pile number three with the brush. Let's just call it a dirty brush. <laughs> so please pause the video if needed. Let's go. So for the viewers that picked pile number one with the perfume, let's find out how are you confusing everybody right now? And yes, we're shuffling again. Um, what the hell is going on with my bang? Hold on. Can't see. How is my pile number one confusing everybody? And with the perfume here. You might be confusing everybody with this new um new aesthetic you got going on maybe you're taking care more of yourself or you know trying harder for your looks and i like that you know i think that that's confusing others maybe you just had children and people don't understand how you just came out of nowhere and look so good and if not like people just un don't understand you know how someone that used to dress down is now you know dressing now to impress so let's see here. How is my pal number one confusing everybody? Clear cut answers, reversals, no. I think you're confusing people in a way where Certain things that used to control you or control your mood no longer do that. I don't know if you're surrounded by a bunch of toxic co-workers or narcissistic-ass family. But I'm, I think what's confusing people in the moment right now is definitely how you don't have the same attitude towards this, the same things. Okay, so let's say if someone stepping on your foot... That's an example. Someone stepping on your feet will get you super mad. It's not getting you mad anymore. It's just like things that people used to see controlled you or made you feel some way just no longer do. Whether this is drinking alcohol, smoking. It's like these things don't control you anymore and it's confusing people as to why you're not doing certain things. Something about bringing the justice into your life. I, I hear a lot of cackling. I, I hear a lot of argument. I, I hear a lot of trying to go against the grain. Maybe you had people that try to go against the grain constantly with you. And maybe um, you used to argue or you used to fight back or you used to try to get your point across. You kind of don't do that anymore. It's like you kind of just let it be with the seven of wands. Five of pentacles two of wands okay three of wands it's like someone giving their back to something and you can see that the two of wands and the three of wands they're kind of like siblings because they're they both have their back and they're looking at what's in the future and then we have the devil card okay and the devil is signaling addictive issues um uh, people you can't get rid of whether it's family or at work and i just feel like you know for somebody here Maybe you have like a teenager. Someone here has a child and maybe the child has been trying to like, let's say they've been, they, they've been trying to test you. You have a child that's been trying to test you, but it's like, you're not giving them what they want anymore. It's like, you are letting them learn their own lessons. I don't know who had to hear that. So yeah, this person could try to test you or do something. Um, also, I'm getting here. You're confusing everybody right now because you're not joining in some sort some sort of misery. Um, I don't know what misery is going on right now in your life, but it's like if it's a group of people or your family, you're not joining in on their bad vibes. You're not joining in on their negativity. You're not joining in the gossip or the drama. This might be confusing people. It's a lot of you walking away from things, okay? And I know this is like kind of like, 
a little bit maybe unusual for the people around you because maybe 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 you didn't really comment but you at least listened i don't know something about you just ultimately like blocking it off um i have a neighbor right now that's yelling but let's wait for let's wait for him to be done um It's, it can also be confusing for, for people that you're not asking them for help anymore. Maybe you have like a parental figure or someone that you used to constantly ask for help or even a boss, but you're no longer doing that. Like you're no longer asking for help. Um, what also could be confusing for people is if you're going to be moving soon. I don't know, maybe you told people you were moving, but you haven't or you're in the process of moving. Um, but, or you moved and nobody knew up until you did move. Um, I feel like what's confusing people is this light that you have around you. I don't know. I just see someone trying to become the bigger person or trying to become a better person in a crap, in, in a bucket full of people that are not, or surrounded by people that are not. I see that here. You might be a Libra here watching Scorpio rising, um, Aries, Pisces or Gemini. I'm getting a little bit of Aquariuses here. N not pretty sure. You could be born in 1995, 1997, 1993. I don't know why I got those dates. So, um, but honestly, speaking here, there's a lot of dismissive energy like happening with you and it's confusing people that are in your life. Maybe you're not calling as much. Maybe you're not coming around as much. Maybe you're just not really doing things with others. I feel like you're trying to in court, like you're trying to build a life as to how can you live for it like on your own or doing your own thing. Let's see here. How is my pal confusing people at the moment? How is my pal number one confusing everybody? How is my pal number one confusing everybody? Yeah. You're having like this lighthearted, lovable energy and it's really confusing the people around you. You know, you could have had people that really played you the wrong cards. And, you know, till this day, I feel like you walk around like it never really happened to you. You see, I'm getting someone here that knows the laws of the universe. You are you know the secrets to life. You know the secrets to the universe. Um, I don't, I, I really don't know why you watch me because you kind of have this whole thing down pat, but thank you though. Don't leave. Don't leave. But I'm just saying, you know, you know, your, your smarts is impressing me right now. This is, this is a high level of awareness here, Polymer One. You might be a damn reader here. Okay. Like you might be a reader because ain't no way like I'm getting like this enlightenment energy enlightened type of energy oh my god my eyes itchy so it's like seeing beyond the veil seeing beyond of you know knowing that being a good person is even being good to those that probably didn't fit didn't play right but you knowing that the way that the universe works that it's still none of your business whatever people sow is what they eventually reap and it has nothing to do with you is that, you know, three of cups next to the nine of, nine of wands. Five of swords. And then the lovers. It's like other people's actions is none of your business. You're going to continue to be a light. You're going to still continue to, to radiate that light and that positivity. You know what I mean? And 
this is not a get back energy here. This is definitely a be the bigger person energy. So if you don't relate to that, it's okay. Just hop on the next one. But like, honestly, problem number one, I do see you being the bigger person and that confusing a lot of people. Maybe you did tip for tap. Maybe you, you wanted to voice out how you felt to the world and, you know, be this big, big respected person. But you realize that it wouldn't do anything for you. To be aware is to know that not everybody is going to understand you. And that's okay, because we're not here to be understanding. We're just here to understand ourselves. That knowing that we don't need to prove anything to anybody to be at peace within ourselves, because just proving things to people is going to war by yourself. It's battling yourself, trying to prove things to others. What's confusing people is that you're aging well. Maybe you are accepting that you're getting older and you're accepting it. Maybe people around your age are like panicking, um, um, looking for their next new procedure. And you're just like, listen, I'm going to accept myself for the way I am. I'm not going to get any younger and I have to embrace who I am. Which I'm, listen, whatever procedures anybody wants to get, I support you. I support it 100%. But just know that if we don't fix what's within, we, we can't fix what's out there. Because we'll always find something wrong. That's what I tell with anybody that's getting anything. Like, you got to love yourself the way you are now. Because you can get the 35 procedures and you still not love yourself. You could get anything and everything you want to fix your looks. But you will still find something wrong. You can look like a damn Barbie. I've seen it. I've seen it. But, you know, a lot of you guys, I feel like this embracing of the, of the self, loving on the self, and what people throw at you is a reflection of what life will throw at them. Okay, this is very eye-opening. It's like you're confusing people because... In a way where you should be upset or mad, you're not. And I feel like your biggest weapon that you use is your silence and your distance. Like you, you're not here to prove anything to anybody. Um, tell people what, that what they did were, was wrong because at the end of the day, we're you know we're all adults, okay. Um, sometimes people do know what they're doing, but sometimes they don't. And it's like it's it really our responsibility to raise an adult. To tell them, hey, that was wrong. You know what I mean? And that's for some, okay? Not all. Because the world is a double-edged sword. But I feel like you being the bigger person in a situation or in your, even in your life, making yourself the main character, regardless of how people feel about you with the Three of Cups. What's confusing people is your reputation as well. I don't think you, you've had like the most like happiest past. I don't think that you've had like the most reasonable actions made in the past. But it's like who you are in the present is really, really surprising a lot of people or even confusing them because it's like what happened? What occurred? What what traumatized this individual? to to get to this point what was the switch what was the click because maybe you are acting in a way that is so foreign to the people around you and listen i don't know who is around you but the way you're acting is super super foreign to those around you or super different to those around you It's like declaring some freedom, letting go of people's expectations or letting go of reactions or letting go of the ways that people want you to react to their BS. I see someone here getting tempted. I see someone here um, getting like tempted to, to do certain things or be a certain person. 
And it's like, it's not clicking with you anymore. It's just not you. And it's really confusing people. Last couple of cards. How is my pal number one confusing people at the moment? How is my pal number one confusing people? Thank you. What did I say? So we have here the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacle, the Hierophant, and then the Six of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to break it down. So Eight of Swords starting up next to the Page of Pentacles just reminds me of how inner turmoil and it not really being prevalent. Okay, so in a moment where you should be having a lot of inner turmoil, where you, maybe you're going through things, maybe you are alone, maybe you are, you don't have anybody in your life that is significant, that you can really trust, that that can really be there for you, but it not even mattering to you. Like it, I don't even know if that's the fucking word, but it doesn't matter to you. And I feel like that's confusing people. This, you know, the higher from being like this bigger enlightened individual Pal number one, you don't have anybody, but somehow you're still kind to everybody. That's what I mean. Nobody's there for you, but somehow you're still kind to everybody. People play their dirty games. People are rude, disrespectful, and you're still kind. You're still in your place. And that is confusing a lot of people. Your lighthearted energy is really confusing people. I don't think you were always like this. I don't think so. Especially with that Aries energy that I got. I, don't, I really don't think this pile was like that. I don't think that you were someone that was playing fair at all a lot of earth energy here i don't think you were that person and somehow some way you've changed you've conquered the secrets of the universe so congratulations on that okay congratulations on being enlightened being who you are um just because you are a good person doesn't mean you don't have boundaries. Just because you're a good person doesn't mean that you tolerate disrespect. I feel like where, when, where you feel disrespected, I feel like you do the right things. Whether you distance yourself, you walk away. Or you let silence be your power. And it, this is clear as day. You're confusing the heck out of people. What could be running through this person's mind? You know, this person's all alone. They don't have anybody. But somehow they look so fine. They look like life's been great. And it's so crazy because I got the three of cups here. So there is people around you. But they feel like they haven't played their part correctly with you. Whether this is family, friends, siblings. They feel like they haven't played their part correctly with you. Because remember, we got that five of swords. They don't think they, they were playing fair. They don't think they were just or right with you. But somehow, with the six of cups, you are constantly giving. You're constantly laid back. You're constantly at your own peace. Because you're not going to let anybody control your emotions. Even if, even if they're neglecting you. Even their neglect won't allow you to neglect yourself in a way where you'll let them control your emotions. So this is a very beautiful reading. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that picked pound number two with the Play-Doh, let's find out. Ooh. So, you know, when I first bought this Play-Doh, it was very smushy, right? And now all of a sudden, it's pretty hard. So, a lot of you guys might be some air signs here watching me, Libra, Gemini. Um, 
I'm also getting Earth. Matter of fact, I'm getting all the signs here, all right? Earth, air, water. But I just have this feeling of someone that will get pressed is not letting them get pressed. Or someone that people used to play with, they're not, you're not letting them play with you. Or something about you guys are tuning into the best version of yourself in a way where what goes in with you, like, how can you be a better person? How can you stand up more for yourself? And like, something with beauty, because now I'm looking at the perfume again. So it might be with something with beauty. But well, let's see here. How are you confusing people right now? How is my pile number two confusing people right now? <sighs> I heard standing on business. Um, you're confusing someone right now. If you're not lending someone money right now, they're confused right now. They don't know why you're lending. You're not lending them money because maybe this person only contacts you to lend for them for you, for you to lend them money, and that's it. No happy birthday. How you been? How was your day? Just straight to can I can I get this? Can I get that? Five of wands. upright you have people fighting for your energy right now king of pentacles you might be more focused on your money right now that could be confusing people three of swords someone here has a broken heart though i think someone knows that you're broken you're you have a broken heart about something maybe about a fire sign a parental figure or a lover like you're broken hearted right now what's confusing people is that you're you probably haven't spoken about it or you're probably not trying to argue about it or what's confusing people right now is that you're upset about something maybe you were someone that used to fight a lot or argue back or stand up for yourself and what's confusing people right now is that now that you're very, very hurt, you're keeping that hurt to yourself or even feeling sad but by yourself. You're not voicing that something has hurt you. This could be related to pile number one, to be honest. You could be 24 watching this. Are you turning 24, 25, 27, 47, 45, 42? 33 um I'm, I'm just i'm getting a lot of different ages here i got swords wands okay a lot of earth <laughs> and air here someone here could be a virgo i feel like a parental figure or someone hurt your feelings someone here has hurt your feelings and i feel like what's confusing a lot of people it's the way that you're going about the situation. I got the nine of cups at the, at the top of the deck. Ten of cups. This is a little confusing. Because I, I see turmoil. But I definitely see someone taking a side and just staying there. I don't know. I feel like someone put the nail in the coffin for you. And now you're just like, you know, it's it's the new year. Like, I'm just going to use, like, I'm just going to take their shitty treatment and mark it as done with them. What's confusing people is why you're sad right now or why you're a, a, a bit depressed. You could be depressed right now, actually, as we speak, okay? You could be sad right now. Um, not necessarily depressed, but if you are, you know, or even sad, I could see that here. I 
I see people fighting in the background about you. Someone's fighting about you in the background. I think your family's fighting about you. Or people from work are fighting about you. I feel like these people did not agree on some sort of treatment that was happening with you. I feel like whatever happened, people are realizing that it really hurt you. I feel like some people got used to doing something to you, whether it was avoiding your feelings, avoiding what you felt, or just avoiding your, your feelings, like something about avoidant, not considering your emotions, now what, watching what they say before they speak. And I feel like you, it broke you to realize that, you know, that's how people feel about you and it's never going to change. It was like a realization that you realized that, you know, it's a calculated move though. People feel like, okay, okay. Your feelings is a front for something else. Like you're victimizing yourself in order to get back at someone else. You're acting like a victim to get back at someone else. That's what I'm hearing here. You're confusing people because people feel like you're confusing people right now because some people think you're heartbroken about a situation but then others feel like they they can never be heartbroken about a situation because this person doesn't act like the, it hurt them. Or this person, you know, this always happens and this person doesn't care. But then it's like the others see that you do care. But then there's the other that are like, well, they've never cared. And I don't know, for some reason, it's like you're getting away with causing destruction for others or mishaps for other people whether it's your distance or you acting in some sort of disappointment you got someone in trouble by accident pile number two and i feel like it's the is the person that you got in trouble that's confused right now as to why you like it's like i've always i've always tripped them I've always called out their outfits. I've always said this about them. I've always spoken to them like that. We always argue. So why are they acting weird now? And it's like somebody that used to antagonize you or be condescending is now caught on their tracks. Because you are acting... Like, it, it, no, the way you're acting is very confusing, though. It's really confusing because it's like you want to teach someone a lesson, but you also don't want to show them that you really care about it. It's like that type of energy. Like, you want to teach somebody a lesson. Like, don't disrespect me. But also, at the same time, you, you're acting like nothing is wrong. So you're confusing that individual, but the other people around the individual that have to pay for your distance or whatever, or you being hurt, they're the ones coming at the other person. Like, you know, you didn't have to do that. You, you always do this. You need to be this. You need to be that. So you got a bunch of people coming at one individual about you. I really, really, for this group, I feel like you're confusing like one or two people right now. But you have people defending you behind the scenes, pile number two. That's what I'm getting heavily. You have someone defending you. Either it's about a, a situation, a problem at work, or at your home, or even a group of friends. Like, you have people defending you. But you have one or two individuals confused. Because they're confused right now because it's like... Now all of a sudden they're hurt. Now all of a sudden this bothered them. But definitely you had enough with something. And it's like you feeling bad about the situation kind of made you win in the situation. 
Maybe you used to just brush shit off. But it's like you now acting like it really hurts you. Like an example that I'm getting here, I don't know if this might relate to anybody. It's like having a parental figure that's constantly disrespecting you or calling you out of your name. And then, you know, you guys always argue and fight. But then one day you're just like, you know what, enough is enough. And I'm just not going to toast to you like that anymore. I'm not even going to come around. So maybe your other family members that don't see you come around as often, they're like, yo, what the hell? Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you be like that with them all of a sudden? Da, 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 da. And then you got that other person confused. But this is the problem. You still talk to the parental figure. You just don't give them, you don't just, you just don't give them the time of the day, but you just, you still communicate and everything is fine. And maybe you even told someone why that person made you feel away. But it's like, you're no longer arguing. You're no longer fighting back with the five wands. You're no longer trying to battle. You're just going to let them get their way with the five wands and just move about your way with the three of swords. You know, act like it really hurt you. Seven of swords upright. But I'm not going to lie. It probably did hurt you. It probably did hurt you. But I feel like it's confusing for people to see you so fucking distant or even really sad about it to the point where you're silent or you're not even coming around at all. You know what I mean? Let's see here. Um, how are, How is my pal number two confusing people right now? How is my pal number two confusing people right now? How is my pal number two confusing people right now? Let's see. Yo. I, I see here someone that just got pissed off at one person. And you're not coming out. You're you're not coming around at all. You're not you're not talking to nobody at all now. And now everybody is attacking one person. Listen, we got the hermit. Talk about keeping your energy to yourself. And then we have the chariot here. But it's like this movement forward. It's like you're there, but you're not there. But people can feel that difference, and that's what's confusing them. It's like you know this individual has gone through a lot. Why did this one issue? bring them to just want to disappear on everybody we have here the page of cups you could have had one problem with somebody at work and now you just don't want to give anybody at work the time of day and maybe everybody at work is mad at that person for even disrespecting you because you don't mess with anybody there that's for some not all but if this is like a family situation it's like you know people have realized that this this one situation has ticked your clock and it's like you're no longer being available um, to people. It's like I heard you you killed you, you killed two birds and one stone. Six of Wands. You're the main event right now in some place somewhere, and it's confusing people because you're not doing nothing. You're not even talking or anything. And all I hear is, where's Pal 2? Where's Pal 2? What happens to Pal 2? What's going on with Pal 2? Where's Pal 2? Someone is tired of hearing your name. Like, people cannot stop mentioning you, Pal 2. Somebody cannot stop asking about you. You've made yourself so prevalent, so important, that is so crazy for others. It's like you're moving forward with something, but not in the way that other people agree with. Um, I think your attitude is confusing a lot of people in a way where, you know, I told y'all that it was only one or two people, but I just feel like that the other half is having a reaction of defending you. And then the other half is like, you know, what the hell is wrong with them? Like, this is not normal. Like, what's going on? People didn't, somebody in this group felt like you would never get offended by something. Like they didn't think that some, something was going to offend you so much to the point that it was going to bring you to this, to this vibe. Like they didn't know that something was going to offend you. Okay. You're barely even given a cup. I see the page of cups here. You're barely even given a cup. And somehow everybody's like, you're not giving nobody the time of day, but everybody just has you in their mouth. And I, I feel like it's more like confusion, confusion. Like what's wrong with pile number two? 
why is what's wrong with part number two? Why I haven't seen part number two? Like, where are they? Where's part number two? Where's part number two? I haven't seen part number two. I haven't heard from part number two. Why part number two not coming? Why they not coming? Where they at? Where they're coming? Who are where they what they doing? Da, 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 da. Like, it's just a bunch of questions about you. But it really happened because of a group of people or one person in particular that caused something that's now bringing turmoil and has everybody confused and asking about you. With the last couple of cards here, let's see how is my pile number two confusing everyone at this moment? How was my pile two confusing everyone at this moment? The higher friend. See, I know this, this, this related to pile number one. But um, what's really confusing people at the, at this moment is how you're acting so wise and so mature about a, about a situation that the, you have changed, but for better. You have transformed your attitude, but for the better. And with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you're more in search of what brings you happiness and stability. I feel like you're no longer fighting arguments. You're fighting now to live at peace. You're fighting now for your goals. You're fighting now for the things you want to accomplish. You're no longer fighting battles. You're no longer fighting opinions and fighting what people think you should do or not or be and see. You're not doing that anymore. And you're also not fighting with what people think about you. You're literally fighting for your happiness and peace. And I feel like that's confusing a lot of people right now, how you're focused, but not on them. You're focused on yourself and not what they did to you, but you're focused on what you got going on for yourself. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that clicked pile number one with the brush, let's find out how are you confusing people at this moment? And, you know, the brush. Um, Someone has like a hair routine or someone just started like, you know, you know, letting their hair grow or people are confused as to how you got your hair the way it looks now or how did you fix it up or how did you, you know, bring about some glow up or brought about some changes where there was extensions or something, doesn't matter, a wig, some dreads. Some people are confused as to like this new look that you got going on. I'm definitely getting earth energy here. So this could be like um earth signs. Um... Do I get a little bit of air? Mm, not really, but a lot of earth. Okay, so let's hit this reading. Let's find out here. How are you confusing everybody right now? How is my pal number three confusing everybody right now? How is my pal three confusing everybody right now? You're confusing everybody right now because maybe you have a new lover right now and people, maybe this person, I don't know what the hell that means, but something about my, like maybe, you know, that person wasn't your type. Like people are really surprised by someone that you're dating right now because maybe this person doesn't really look like someone that you would date or that someone that you would talk to. And if not like a friend, like they wouldn't expect you to have a friend that looked like this or that or do certain things. Um, people are confused right now as to, you know, how you're succeeding a lot in life. And it makes people think, you know, or wonder or be confused as to if you were really the bad guy in a situation. Your success, your glow is confusing people right now. I don't know if people try to paint you out to be the bad guy or put this reputation up that maybe you were like an enemy or you were like someone envious or hateful or judgmental or like bitchy, whatever. Or even someone that does witchcraft, like something like really evil. But it's like your glow up is like really confusing people at the moment. Because it's like, you know, if they're such a bad person, why do they look better than all of y'all? Why are they doing better than all of y'all? And why is everything working for their favor, but not yours? And it could definitely be with someone right now in specific. Like, wow, I really try to do this to this person and that. And it's like, if they were really so bad, why are they living better than me? Why are they doing better than me? Why, you know. So you have people confused about this victory or success here. And also people confused as to who you're deciding to be loyal to. With indecision, people could have basically felt like maybe 
you were a cheater in the past or you were somebody that will play both sides in situations or be someone fake or a cheater well that well, i just said that but it's like it's confusing people because of how successful you've been in your relationships how successful you've been in your career how successful you've been when it comes to your looks it's really confusing people It's really having people confused as to maybe you really are this person that is an angel or someone very high vibrational. I'm I'm hearing psychics or mediums here, Reiki healers, um, tarot readers, motivational speakers. A lot of like of the voice here with word of value. Yeah, it's confusing. Your your success is confusing people right now. I don't. I I think that people kind of maybe i'm not gonna say that maybe you dress down but maybe you're not someone very very flashy like you you could dress nice but it's like you're not going to buy all the luxuries to look like you know look like a billboard well nothing wrong with that if you do want to look like a billboard but like like you your your style is not loud you know what i mean and it confuses people because some people don't know whether to think if you're down or if you're actually successful. But it's like, mm, it's like someone that doesn't try hard to show that they're rich, but people could tell you're rich or people could tell you have money. It's someone that doesn't try hard to show people that you're successful, but it's like the success is loud. So see, look at the lion here. I knew it. That lion does not have to roar for you to know that it's the damn lion or that it could eat you up, all right? Like, it doesn't have to prove anything. You just by looking at it, you already know what it is. You know what I mean? You know what it is. And it's like, that's what it is with you. And it's confusing people because people probably had this different idea of who you were. Your beauty is definitely confusing people because maybe you didn't glow like this before. Um, Something's changed with you. Your face doesn't look the same. Um... You don't, I heard you don't smell the same. You don't, you don't dress the same. You're not the same. And it's confusing a lot of people. It's like people had an idea about you. And then through time, through now, the idea is gone. They don't know what, who you are. Let's see here. What is confusing people at the moment? You could be 45, 50 years old, 31, 28. Or 18. Let's see here. How is my pile number three confusing people right now? Woman holding a heart. Appreciation. The thinking man. You're confusing people right now because now people are starting to really think that you are this lovable, kind being. You're just someone very intellectual and someone that's easy for people to hate on because you're so kind and genuine. The sun. I know it. Um, what's also um, confusing people right now is your age. Okay, we, we're seeing someone very youthful here. We're seeing someone that carries themselves in a very lighthearted, youthful vibe. And it's confusing people because you don't act your age or you don't look your age. And it could be very confusing for people that, you know, probably felt that you were older. Okay? But it's like, you know, I am older, but you wouldn't really be able to tell. You wouldn't be able to tell because of my energy. What's confusing people right now is how intelligent you are. I see someone that has it all but doesn't have to show it all. Maybe you've been like envied in the past before. Like something about your Pluto being in the first, second house. I was just um watching a video about Pluto placements and how, you know, people can be jealous of you. Of what people can be jealous of you for. Um... I think that you were someone that always attracted jealousy and maybe this even like manifested in a way where people would think 
things about you that weren't the best or like spread things about you that weren't the best. But I feel like through time, people really rec recognize who you are. Life always shows them at the end who you are, you actually are. It's crazy, pile number three. It's like you've always been judged heavily by others, but I just feel like the end, it always proves itself. Like maybe you had a lot of friends that said, you know, I thought you were a B-I-T-C-H in the beginning or whatnot. That's for some, not all. Yeah, what's confusing people is how well off you are. Because I don't know, I don't know what it is about you, but it's like when people see you, they always think there's a catch. Like, I don't know how good looking you are or how successful you are, but people always think there's a catch. You know, whether you're dumb or, you know, you are not as successful or maybe you're a horrible person. Maybe you're a liar. Maybe you're a schemer. Maybe you're a thief. You know, it. your face doesn't give the best of judgments in the beginning. And I feel like what's confusing is your actual life right now. Especially for those around you that constantly assume the worst and maybe even wish the worst or thought the worst or spread the worst about you. And now it's like they have to eat their words. Like at this moment in your life, whoever misjudged you or said anything like not well construed about you has to eat their words because you're completely different. You're not, you're not that person anymore. You don't show that vibe at all. Um, because woman holding a heart is just, it gives, it gives very warm. It gives very lovable. It gives, I feel safe around you. Pile number three. Um, your success could also be confusing for people that know that you didn't come from nothing or that you didn't have anything growing up. Or maybe even your own parents that they know that they barely helped you. They barely even did anything for you to, you know, they, they just weren't anything. An example, an inspiration, a support system, nothing. And you still made the best out of what you had. Okay, and that's very confusing for people. It's confusing. Your power is confusing for others. Because your whole life, maybe there was this sense of powerlessness. Like, if you having no control or no power over a situation. And it's like, what's so confusing is how someone that came out of, you know, concrete rose up. Even more than those that had the opportunities. More than those that, you know, they had everything going on for themselves. You outdid and outproved yourself with the minimal you had. With the scraps you had, you built an empire, I can say that. Or you're on your way to do that, pile number three. And that is very confusing for those that know your upbringing. Very confusing for those that laugh. Very confusing for those that thought they knew you. So let's see here. What is confusing others? What is confusing everybody about my pal number three? What's confusing everybody about my pal three? Yeah, happy family, angel of balance, the world, and action. So I'm getting this example here. It's very confusing for those that know that they've never taught you something. Your parents, they never taught you how to do nothing. They never taught you. You never received genuine love. You never knew how to be a good parent, but you're a good parent now. You could have had no parents or a terrible, awful support system and you still became a good parent. You still became a family person. You still became a, a lovable person. In a world where nobody in your, where, where people in your life had addictions and so many horrible things 
um, in their life. You were somebody that came with a lot of balance. It's like going against the current actually helped you. The world and then action. Yeah, it's confusing people how you may have had not the best world growing up or even around you and you still became the best. Someone that maybe people look down on a lot that thought you know you were be you're, you're you were gonna be the bottom of the barrel maybe because of your looks or because of your beliefs or because of who you wanted to be and it's like you outshined everybody that tried to get rid of your shine. It's confusing for those that felt you were you would you would amount to nothing because you had nothing. Then now you have everything, and they don't. It's confusing for those that thought that you were going to stay stuck in one position in your life or stay stuck on one thing and then you ended up becoming a whole different person. You you went against your addictions. You went against everything that life had planned out for you. You went against it. Okay? Another example is, you know, people probably felt like your life was going to be ruined because you had kids at an early age. And you outdid and outproved yourself. And you actually became better than everybody who didn't have kids. You know what I mean? That's an example for some, not all. But something about people felt like your life was going to be ruined. Like you weren't going to amount to anything. There was one person in your life that felt like they were going to be ahead. They were going to always be the best, the top, the most successful, the richest, the biggest. And you just showed them. Now they're confused because you showed them that you can actually surpass them. Yep. So people are confused, yeah, of how great you are becoming. Because of maybe there was nothing in your life that could have pushed you to be great. Nothing in your life could have ever looked like you was going to be great. So that's all that I'm getting here. This was pretty sad. I felt a little bit sad here for this group, but um, I feel like you're going to get the life that you deserve. So that is enough for me to feel a little bit better. Okay. Stay strong. Stay happy. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. It means a lot. Bye, guys.